Hello, my name is host Eric, and I'm going to give you a brief, quick, and spectacularly thorough overview of federal taxation in 10 minutes. That's right. Taxes in 10, we're going to call this particular episode. So, are you guys out there ready for, to write these down? Here we go. They've already written down the overview. They're going to write down additional notes that I tell them as I go through. Understanding taxes and spending. We're only going to be understanding taxes part on this one. Federal. There are these kinds of income, there are these kinds of taxes at the federal level. We have income taxes. An income tax takes a cut out of what you earn. That means you might be working in a job for which kind of money? You could be getting wages. That's going to be by the hour. You could be getting wages. That means it's by the hour. Why aren't you writing that down? Wages equals by the hour. You could be getting salary. That means you get paid by the month or by the year. By the year usually. And you could be getting potentially profits from business. So if you are a business owner and you're making profits, you will maybe leave some of that money in the business and maybe you will have some of that money pay for your own expenses like you have to pay, give yourself a paycheck too, okay? So um, that in income tax. Income tax takes an amount out of what you earn. In the United States, we have what's called a progressive income tax. Progressive, which is what that paper we were looking at before that prompted us to go do this is about. Progressive income tax says rich pay more and poor pay less. Okay? So we have progressive income tax. Capital gains taxes are taxes that are not on money you earn or make, but rather on money that happens because of time passing. So if you own a home, you purchase a home, and over time, your home gets more valuable. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily get more valuable, but it might. If you own a home, then your home you purchase for $100,000 might be worth $200,000 a year from now. You could sell it. You would have $100,000 in capital gains. If you purchase a home for $50,000 and sell it for $150,000, Emma, how, what is your capital gains? 5,000. No, 15,000? Ethan, what? if you buy a- 15,000. If you buy a car for $5,000 and you sell it for $50,000, what are your capital gains? 10, 45,000. 45,000. 45,000. 45, 45, yeah. Sorry. That's capital gains. When you have appreciation, it's called appreciation on your investment, which means it gets more valuable. Now, if you buy your house in a really nice part of town, and in a couple years, it turns out that all the homeless people moved there, and it became a slum. Well, now your house is worth less money. It depreciated. Write those two words down. Appreciate. You know that word from like, I appreciate your kind gesture. But this means to get more valuable to appreciate, and then the opposite of it, depreciate. D e p r e c i a t e. A p p r e c a. Listen, depreciate is the same as appreciate. D e p r d p r e r e c a, etc. Who cares? Who cares how it's spelled? Wait, is this for income tax or is this for another one? This is for. I'm talking about capital gains. Capital gains taxes we're talking about now. They, they are, when a, an investment appreciates or gets more valuable, it depreciates, gets less valuable, then that's going to be your capital gain or capital loss, okay? Corporate taxes. There's a distinction between corporate taxes and taxes that you might make as your earnings. For example, autonomy debate is a corporation. If autonomy debate makes money that doesn't get, that doesn't get given to people in the company, so for example, like, most of the money that autonomy makes is going to be paid to either employees as earnings or to me as earnings or profit. So it's not going to be um, just sitting in the bank account in the company just waiting around because it's useless. Because a corporation is not really a person. doesn't really want to spend money. The autonomy debate, LLC doesn't want to go out to dinner. You know, So um, as a consequence... Most of that money just gets spent by the people. Well, in that case, what's left, though, that doesn't get spent, it's still the corporation's bank account that hasn't been transferred over into your own bank account. 
that gets taxed on the corporate tax rate. Now keep in mind, that'll get taxed again when somebody finally does spend it. Okay, once it gets spent by a human being, it gets taxed again. But as long as it's still in your corporation, then you can spend it on business expenses. So, um, you know, if you have these corporate taxes like this, then I've got leaning, leaning children suggest to me that they can't see the board. Um, okay, so corporate taxes, yeah. Then we have over here inheritance tax, which is the tax that is taken from a family estate upon the transfer of ownership of that estate from one generation to the next. A lot of people think that inheritance tax is the most just kind of tax because it is taking away the money that you didn't earn yourself from you, but that you got the benefit of being born to your parents. However, that does not take into account the fact that many families have coordinated activities that function to make a family estate be really the property of everybody in the family. And I think that the inheritance tax is awful because remember, every dollar that gets taxed by the inheritance tax has already been taxed. Mm -hmm. It got taxed as earnings when your dad earned it. It got taxed as capital gains when your dad invested. It got taxed as corporate taxes when your dad left it in the company for a while. Now it gets taxed again when he gives it to you? No, not just. Remember, once money has been taxed, it should no longer ever be subject to more taxes. You should, there should be a tax for simply having wealth. There shouldn't be a tax for earning wealth or making money either, but whatever. The last one are the fees and such. We should remember, guys, that the federal government has a lot of ways to extract money from people. What is one of the ways the federal government extracts money is from use taxes for people who use federal resources. Now, these aren't regular citizens. It's going to be something like a, a rancher. I mean, they're regular citizens, but they're not, they're not usual citizens. They're not typical citizens. They are like ranchers or something who want to have their cows eat federal grass. Well, the federal government will get money for that. If the federal government has some mining land that has gold in it, and you want to mine that gold, the federal government gets some money for that. They also have the ability now to tax us for being alive. That didn't used to be acceptable in general to consider it to be something to tax you for not doing anything. Because if they, if they tax you for not buying health insurance, which is what federal, the Supreme Court ruled that it was in fact a tax, then they are taxing you for being alive. Why should the federal government be able to take a tax from every citizen for being alive? I don't know either. However, be aware that the federal government takes zero taxes or approximately zero taxes the federal government takes very few taxes for almost half the people about 50 percent of americans don't pay federal taxes okay they don't pay federal income taxes pay zero federal income taxes why because they are poor that they're not poor. 50% of Americans aren't poor. Why are 50% of Americans not paying federal income tax? But, but they're not. 50% of America is not poor. <clears throat> well, I mean, I don't begrudge them not paying the federal income tax. Whoever can get out of paying federal income tax should get out of it. We want, the problem isn't that they're not paying federal income tax. That's a good thing. The problem is that we are paying federal income tax. That's the bad thing. So ideally, we'd like to get rid of the income tax entirely. It would probably be the best solution to a lot of societal problems. Because government, of course, causes way more problems usually than it solves. So dismantling government begins with getting rid of the 
Uh, ability for government to spend money. Alright. Now. Yeah. Ten minutes on taxes. Hope you enjoyed that fine and delightful lesson on taxes. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. They want an encore.